another heart uh, stomping affair here at the Grange Reserve. Uh, you must feel one, uh, a little bit hard done by to come away with the three points. Oh, of course we do. We're disappointed because we created so many chances. And again, we can see a soft goal from my eyes because of ill discipline, just decision making from our boys to give away the free kick, not clearing our lines. But look, again, we're going to keep bringing it up. But We've got to start putting teams away when we gave opportunities. And it's good that we fought back again from the one year down, but we can't afford to give deep head starts. That's the problem at the moment. And we're trying to address it, but unfortunately, uh, you know, we found ourselves in the same position today. Yeah, and you talk about opportunities uh, not going um, into the back of the net, and uh, there were quite a number of them today. They're yeah, golfing. We've got two spectacular saves, and uh, we missed quite a number of opportunities. What do you think you'll do in the training track this week? Go back to uh, shooting a goal? Yeah, it's good that we've got goals now because we haven't had it all pre-season, so I think that makes it hard. Look, we're disappointed. We had opportunities, and credit to their keeper. The keeper stepped in today after you know giving his opportunity, and for me, I thought he was fantastic. He pulled off two really um, crucial saves and one at 1-0 down when we needed to get back in the game earlier. But, look, again, it is what it is. That's what he's paid to do. He's paid to stop the opportunities that we create. And, we're just going to be smarter in the final third. We, we can't, we, we're going to find it hard to create chances as the season goes on because teams are going to get smarter, they're going to get more fitter, and they're going to know what our game plan is like. So we need to take opportunities now, otherwise it's going to be uh, you know, work that we've uh, done. We're just going to let it go on the show. So. Well, you must be very happy with the opportunities that are being created, though. We are finding space, we're using our, our speed with your wingers. Um, it's just that final uh, conversion rate, I guess... Uh, we can't wait for Sean to come back and he'll let some maybe polish up there. He's renowned to be uh, a good finisher. What are your thoughts on that? Again, ill discipline. That's what's costing us. He's, he could have been on the ground now, giving us a different avenue up front. And unfortunately, he got four weeks or five weeks, and we're suffering from it at times when we need him to bring him on or to, to start him against the opposition like this, where he would have a field day. But again, we've got to make do with what we've got. And I think Damien's done well. All the boys in the final third have done well. It's just the last thing in the box. It's the last decision making and creating and taking opportunities. And even the goal was scored. It was a scrappy goal. But you take it and you move on and regroup for a short term on Friday. Almost a bit of a reward for the ones that uh, should have gone in. So you take the, the ones that are there. What about uh, with Simo? It was good to see him back on the park. I thought he did quite well. What did you think? He did well. Look, he's probably another one or two games away. And unfortunately, with Daniel Bennett getting injured and you know, we've lost our uh, defensive uh, stocks a little bit, so Simmel had to step up and, you know, Lovey copped the knock in the first half and got a migraine and couldn't see, and um, that's why he had to come off. Um, but Simmel did well, he did his job, came on, defended well, and, uh, you know, it's only better for him because you he, he can tell the pace is a lot quicker than what he's been doing. The and Dylan Mary nearly came on for his first senior debut. Yeah, look, unfortunately, look, we were ready to bring him on. I've got all the confidence in the world for Dylan. He's a good young kid, uh, 17 years old, and he's got a presence about him. For me, it was, uh, I wasn't concerned. If he had to come on, I know he would have done the job for us. So, unfortunately, he's a bit of weight now. I think Sarah caught the red card in the 20s and well, also Dylan's going to be around with the senior team this week, and uh, you know, he, hopefully he might get an opportunity down the track. Well, Nick, you're still undefeated, and that's a good thing. Um, hopefully uh, those three points for a win come soon. Well, that's okay. <laughs> well done. Well, here we are, um, post-match interview with Erhan Yalas, who uh, has come across uh, from Port Melbourne this year. One of our star recruits is uh, very explosive in the forward line. Yalas, first of all, um, how are you finding uh, the squad and the team that they embraced you? That's fantastic. You definitely uh, have fitted in and you're playing as if you've been here for years. You must be uh, enjoying the freedom that you've got up in the forward line. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been good. I think the players have gelled and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, we saw you um, use uh, your explosiveness a fair bit. There was a, an instance where you, you headed the ball against the centre back and you went and won it against the other centre back and you nearly got on goal. So where, where do you get your speed from? I guess, I guess it's just natural. You've always been? You've always yeah, had that speed? Yeah, yeah it's just been natural. That's fantastic. A natural athlete here. Yeah. Um, you're feeling a little bit unlucky that uh, the team didn't yeah, walk sure. away with a win today? Definitely. definitely. We had our chances. We should have taken a few points tonight. It was 
what it is. We'll just move on to next week. Oh, it's Friday night. Yes, night. Provided a great assist there for Damien. We all thought it went in. How close uh, was it? I don't know. I couldn't see, but I guess it was. It certainly was from where we were looking at. So um, we move on to, to the Knights this Friday. Um, have you played at the, the Knights Stadium before? Yeah, I have played a couple of times. It's going to be a tough night again. Prayer Wednesday, and then we go on to Friday. Well, good luck. The team's still undefeated, and uh, hopefully we notch up three points for us. So well done today. Thank you. Yeah, really well.